hey, wardrobe people down at the our kind of people said, y'all did that. Whoever, whoever was responsible for putting that black fine man, Lance Gross, and all that green, give them a raise. Thank you for clicking on the video. Welcome back to the channel. We're back. Our kind of people is back. Um, this episode was kind of, I was very annoyed with, um, what's the girl name? Angela. I was about to call her Yaya. I was very annoyed with her in this episode. We gonna get to it, but anyway, Angela and Nate, they are showing Nikki in the house how to do the house party dance, you know, the whole, you know, the whole, and then we spin, and then back kick, front kick, you know, you know, the, you know, you know, if you've seen house party, you already know. Um, Auntie Piggy walks in. She's coming back from an NA meeting. You know, she's got to get back on her meetings since she's, you know, admitted to having an addiction problem. Um, we, we can't have Auntie Piggy back on the cocaine. So she's in meetings. She said they talked about making amends and she tells Angela that she knows, um, you know, she's responsible for Darius's death. And it's just like, I'm out here free and... <laughs> you know, like, and, and, and I killed somebody. Um, she also knows that all of what's going on is she's not the only one still suffering. She knows that Tariq is also somebody that's hurting from, you know, the news of just finding out his father commit suicide, all of that. But she also tells her, listen, speaking of Tariq, I need you to keep your eye on the prize. You know, that's a good man. He, he's a good man, Savannah. That's a good man. Hold on to him. Don't, you know, don't, don't stall him out. <laughs> Pretty much. I know you got your little family you're trying to create with Nate or whatever. But Tariq, don't lose sight of that one because that's a good man right there. And he don't deserve it, you know. And Angela knows that, you know, them, their little split or, you know, the the, the reason for the distance. She doesn't blame him for it, you know. It, it just is what it is. Um... There's a Gracity's meeting that's coming up, and Angela plans to show up and give Teddy Franklin Eli Pope a piece of her mind for what he done done to Piggy, for blackmailing her, I should say. Um, and she's like, girl, you will do nothing of the sort. You gonna keep your wits about you? <laughs> you know, you gonna keep your head down and your mouth closed, and we not gonna talk about this. Like, you're not, you're not gonna do anything. You cannot ruin your chances of, you know... Of, she can't ruin what she's what she went out there for in the first place. Like keep your, let's keep let's stay focused. Um, she tells her, you know, just lay low and play the, the the long game to catch a snake. You have to get close, just close enough to pin it down by the thok. <laughs> Tariq, he is pitching, you know, to the board or whatever at the stadium. Everybody's proud, especially Teddy Franklin, Eli Pope. You know, he he feels like it went well. He asked him, you know, if he heard the news about Jack Harmon. He has, of course. There ain't nobody really sad or pressed that this man has kicked the bucket. I mean, every when they told everybody in the in the episode, everybody was just like, mm. "Yeah, I heard." <laughs> That's just too bad. That's just too bad. Um, he wants him to go down to the police precinct and pick up some papers. Some important papers because Jack Harmon had them, you know, with him. And I guess now it's in evidence. He usually has a legal carrier to go and do these things. But he needs, you know, a personal touch. He needs somebody to keep it under wraps, honestly. And, um, you know, as usual, your discretion is, appreciate, is appreciated. Okay, Leah. She looking at old pictures of Raymond and Jack when they were teenagers, whatever, you know, on the lacrosse team. And that brings him to a question. Why would you, why would Lauren assume that y'all was having an affair? And she just flat out tells him everything. Well, at the little ball or whatever, he kissed me and she saw it. You know, they hashed that out. He doesn't seem upset or anything like that. You know, he understands what an ambushed kiss is. And so, cause he has, you know, been the recipient of one himself when Alex uh, Ramirez, Rodriguez, whatever her name is. When she was around, you know, trying to lean in and, and steal a kiss from him. So he knows what that's about. Their bond is tight. You know, it ain't no, ain't no breaking it. Raymond, he, um, 
You know, he's just like business as usual. You know, like I said, nobody really cares that Jack is is gone, especially Raymond. Um, a weight has been lifted as far as he's concerned. Leah thinks that it's healthy for him to take some time off, you know, to process his friend's death. Um, he was the closest thing that he had to a brother. Raymond says he got things to do and people to see, meetings to go to, lawyers to talk to. He got to go talk to the press. He got stuff to do. He can't even sit down and just wallow in the, in the, in the morning, in the grief. Um... That shit is not that funny. Y'all excuse my husband. They do what's they do Clubhouse. I think I've told y'all this before. He does Clubhouse with the with the Frat Brothers every Thursday. And I just what they talking about? <laughs> One of these days, y'all, I'll be sitting around close enough so I can tell y'all what the what the happenings be. Cause I mean, cackling. Cackling. And I'm just like, what y'all do? Is it that funny? Oh loud. <laughs> anyway. Um, okay, so Raymond is talking to Leah, whatever, you know, she, she wants him to take a break, but he doesn't have time. He, he knows that Jack has those, um, he has the paperwork of the transfer of shares and he needs to get to it before Teddy Franklin, Eli Pope does. And so he got to get in front of that. Um, he also knows that he had it the night that, you know, that he went to go see Teddy, you know, and do the signatures and all of that before, he died, so he got to go get that paperwork before Teddy Franklin, Eli Pope executes, you know, the whole contract and everything. And then all the shares, you know, are are just gone. Angela, she's at a um, Gray City's meeting and, you know, it's days before the bidding or whatever. The ladies are nervous. One of the ladies walks up. She, Angela's standing there glaring at Teddy like, once I get a minute, I'm going to cuss that ass out. Oh, nasty snake. <laughs> and the lady just talking to her like, girl, aren't you nervous? Like, oh, my God. Angela. Angela. Oh, yeah, girl. Nervous. Yeah, nervous. <laughs> um, Leah walks up and, you know, she greets the ladies, um, gives her a little speech. She tells them that they're, you know, the next event is an important one. It's going to be a bake-off, you know, so bring your, your, your recipes, your family recipes. It has to be a passed-down family recipe. They're baking sweets, of course, and they will be judged on that. Not only will they be judged on the taste of everything, but they're going to, you know, be asked a few questions about the recipes, about their lineage, about their heritage. Listen, what's your pedigree? That's what they want to know. Um, oh, and only five women will be selected. So good luck. <laughs> they break into their, you know, respective committees and... Lee and Angela step aside to talk. And Angela, you know, she's doing well. You know, she won over the, the potential. Um, <laughs> they won over the potential. Um, she won over the potential investor. Hold on, y'all. Okay, where was I? <laughs> Had to gather. Had to gather, okay? All loud outside the door. Um... Where was I? See, see now, I'm, now, now I done lost my place. Anyway, they break into their committees. Um, Angela and Leah talk. Angela, you know, she's doing well. You know, she's winning the people over. Um, it's looking good for her chances at getting a bid, as well as getting an investor too. Teddy Franklin Eli Pope sees his girls and he walks up, you know, and he's like, oh yeah, then, you know, he put he reaches out to put his hand on Angela's shoulder and she's like, don't touch me. And everybody in the room's like. <gasps> like what what what's going on over there and and leah as well is looking like well girl what the what's all that about you giving like that was a lot she was loud she was loud um leah asked if she's okay but angela just excuses herself she says she gotta go the next day she on her live and i'm like now did you think that you like like you snapped out at Teddy Franklin, Eli Pope at the thing yesterday. And, and then today, <laughs> you like, we're supposed to believe like, you, okay, it's back to normal. No, I got, we got to know what that was about. What was all that? Anyway, she on her live talking about um, the bake off and, you know, how she and Nikki are in the kitchen, you know, doing what they do. Um, 
her mama didn't really pass down recipes or nothing like that, but she did teach her, you know, how to curate some um some good hair products. And her ingredients always almost always or may, let me just say always. She said she always had her bottle of rose oil. So she got that and she got um I think coconut oil and honey. And so she going to make it do what it do with those ingredients. Um, she gets off the live and Aunt Piggy comes by and, uh, no, it's not Aunt Piggy. My bad. My bad. It's Leah. <laughs> it's Leah that drops by. Um, Leah comes by. She wants to help. <clears throat> she says she going stir crazy at the house. Uh, but she wants to help Lee. I mean, help Angela, you know, with the baking and or whatever, whatever she needs for from her in the kitchen. She's trying to help her put her best foot forward. Whatever, whatever she can do to help her chances, Lee is there to help. Um, <clears throat> she tells, you know, she says she's been, you know, thinking about Jack or whatever, and and she shares with Angela that she and Raymond are good. You know, they hash some things out. You know, and then when she gets up to offer to help in the kitchen. Angela's just like, girl, I can't even right now. Like, I, my mind is on everything else. I, has, I got a lot going on in the family. And she's like, oh, so is that why you went off on daddy today? And she just like, she plays coy. And she just says, you know, well, oh, well about that. You know, it's just like, I think I, I think I moved too fast with Teddy. And I, I, I think I'm going to just, you know, take a, take a step back. Leah looking like, girl, what? <laughs> anyway, um... She ends up showing her a picture of um, Olivia, Eve, and Rose when, you know, when they were younger, getting ready to, you know, get ready for bidding themselves. <clears throat> and um, Angela, she's, you know, she's going, she's fine with going down memory lane at first, but then it's like, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> is this the night my mama got arrested and then her her life was just completely thrown off off course oh so this is the night back in 84 yeah so so angela back on that same stuff trying to figure out what the heck is going on with her mama and what teddy did to her um so she she i think she lost track a little bit as as far as um her reason for even going out there in the first place <clears throat> yes, she went out there for some coin, you know, to get what she deserves. But also, she need she wanted to find out what really happened with her mom. Um, she tells Leah that her that her mom's dreams were shattered when she got arrested and she feels like Teddy Franklin, Eli Pope has something to do with it. You know, Leah kind of pressed her to pull that out of her. Cause at first she wasn't going to say nothing, but it's like, well, girl, this is what it is. I still think your daddy, well, our daddy has something to do with my mama going to jail. That's where I'm at with that. Um, but of course, you know, Leah doesn't want to believe it. She's kind of in denial. And Angela's like, listen, our father has a secret and I'm going to unearth it. I know, that's what he's pressed about. Like, he's trying very hard for me not to find out the truth, but I'm going to find out the truth. Tariq, he meets with Auntie Piggy, and, um, you know, she tells him that she lied to him. She apologized. You know, she and Darius were a couple, and she tells him that Darius worked for Calvin, who, you know, who is his father. They both work for Teddy. They would help him, you know, help him with his dirty work. And, of course, he wants to know what's the dirty work. She says, I don't know what the dirty work was, <laughs> but... I do know that, you know, it was enough for Darius to fall into drugs and for Calvin to just fall into depression. And, you know, and then he killed himself, you know, like you had he had to have been carrying something very heavy for him to commit suicide. Um, She's, you know, still apologizing again and all that. And then he finally like snaps out a little bit like it's not about you. This is about Teddy. This is about Teddy. He knows who his uh, who the ops are. <laughs> he knows exactly who it is. It's not, you know, she, her, whatever she did is minuscule compared to what Teddy Franklin Eli Pope is up to or has been up to. Um, but, you know, he's appreciative of her apology and all of that. Um, 
he's wrestling with the fact that, you know, basically Teddy Franklin, Eli Pope has shown him two different sides. You know, there well, there are two different sides to him, I should say. And he said his mama always said, you know, everybody got two sides. It's cool. You know, um, it's just, it just is what it is. And Auntie Piggy's like, with all due respect to your mama, that's not the truth. <laughs> Like, yeah, we people present two different sides, but there's the true um, essence of who they are always shines through. And that's just what it is. And when you can get to that place where you looking at the true you in the mirror and, you know, you don't look away, then you have, you know, freedom. That's when you're free. OK, Raymond, he's at the police station talking to um, I guess this is the detective on Jack's case. He tells him, you know, he needs those documents or whatever. And the detective was like, oops, sorry, too late. Teddy Franklin, Eli Pope already petitioned for those. And he's, he'll be sending somebody to come get them today. Raymond is like, oh, I'm going to just have to give my give the old father-in-law a call, huh? Then the detective says, well, since I got you here on the line, he has something else to share. Um, he said that they suspect that a woman was with Jack the night that he was killed. So... Now we got foul play into the mix. And um, he explains that they doubled back or whatever with housekeeping. There was glass missing and um, as well as perfume like permeating the air. Raymond, he gives his best political response, <laughs> you know, adding that there will be a big donation to the police uh, force, whatever, in Jack's honor. Like basically... If you let me get what I need from you, then it's something in it for you. You know, he tried to hint on that, but I mean, I don't I don't think it worked. Tariq is at evidence signing it out. <laughs> and um he kind of has a moment of PTSD seeing uh being in that in that area of the police station. I guess that that's, you know, he and his mama had to sit out there outside of evidence when his father was found. And so she in there hollering and screaming, you know, hysterically crying. And that just brought back all the, all the memories. And so he's kind of hyperventilating and Raymond comes and gives him some water. Um, and then they sit and talk. Raymond is acting all concerned or whatever. And he talking around and around and he lands on Darman. And, you know, he asks to take a look at the papers and Tariq is like, I knew it. <laughs> like we've known each other how long we how long we known each other since boarding school days this is the longest conversation you and i have ever had like you ain't never fooled up with me <laughs> and now you want to now you want to talk you know and 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 you want me to show you documents and stuff like that and he's just like ain't not gonna happen <laughs> not gonna happen um, he, he brings up the fact that back in school, you know, Raymond never had his back. It was only a few black kids in around and you would think that they would all, you know, look out for one another. But Raymond, he was one of the good old boys being that his family and, um, Jack Harmon, them family, you know, they had merged and they were close and working together, whatever. You know, he, he was fooled up with the rich kids. And Tariq was a scholarship. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say scholarship, but, you know, Teddy paid for it. So, yeah, <laughs> he's a scholarship student. And um, there was an incident back then where um, some things were, some items were stolen out of the dorms and automatically he was accused of it because you know he's a scholarship kid and Raymond ain't have his back no he should have known that you know he didn't do it um and Raymond is just like okay we get it like you ain't steal the stuff back in the day now can I please see the documents please and thank you um he he he's not here for that um Tari just you know tells him he's the same rich nigga he always been and walks away not the uniform. You ain't wearing the uniform no more, but you still, a tiger doesn't change its stripes. <laughs> um, Auntie Piggy, like I said, she feeling guilty. Um, you know, she free and she done took somebody else's life. So she says she's, she's going to have to just turn herself in. Raymond, he tells Leah about his run in with Tariq or whatever. And, you know, and Tariq is still so loyal to Teddy Franklin, Eli Pope and, he, he wishes that there was some way that he could warn Tariq that that's not smart. Um, but he knows he's, he's got to get in front of Teddy. He got to go get these papers. Leah tells him that um, not only does he not trust his, 
trust her father. Angela's tr starting not to trust him either. Like, so it's they're back at square one again when they had made so much <laughs> progress as a family. Um, but that Teddy be lying. So, I mean, it is what it is. He should have known that this would happen. Um... Of course, she, with everybody not trusting her father, she's still not, you know, wavering at all. It's just like, I, it, me of all people can't just drop my daddy like a bad habit. Like, it's me. <laughs> it's me we talking about. Um, he wouldn't hurt me. And Raymond is like, he wouldn't hurt you. <laughs> Ask your mama how that went for her. And get back to me. Um, okay, back at, uh, Angela's house. Now Nate is trying to talk some sense into Aunt Piggy. Um, you know, he's sharing his experience in prison. Like, this is not what you want. I'm telling you, you, you do not want to go inside. I know you're feeling guilty, but you're going to find, you're going to have to find some other way <laughs> to make amends because turning yourself in a I, wrong road, wrong road. Um... She says she gonna think about it. She ain't gonna think about it. She she's made up her mind, but she agrees to take more time to think about it. Leah, she's visiting Mama Rose and um, you know, asking her questions about the night that Eve was arrested. And then Mama starts getting all fidgety and nervous, and you know, like just the mention of that lady's name, and it sends her in a complete tizzy. Um, she dropping her teacup and all like it was bad. You know, what did Teddy do? Um, he, she says that he was going to leave her and, the, and, and, um, Leah at the time and, um, run away with Eve. And then she starts to go into details a little bit. She said the terrible things happened that night and she just wants to forget it. And like I said, she spazzes out. Teddy Franklin, Eli Pope comes in in the nick of time while she's having her meltdown. He kind of calms her down. Um, and the nurses can come in and medicate her in the hallway Leah confronts her father, you know, like, I want to know what happened back in 84. What's T? He says that um, he didn't have anything to do with Eve being arrested, but he did hire, you know, the best attorney in Boston. So, basically, I guess she should be happy. I don't know. <laughs> um, he talks about how he uses this, this situation um to guilt Leah into into get into doing what he wants because he he knows that this she's Angela's getting closer and closer to the truth and he says that Angela you know her being here and all and constantly bringing her mother up is what sends Rose you know in a downward spiral and he basically wants Leah to get her to go away. Like she needs to leave. She she needs to be. She got to leave the Oak Bluffs. She ain't a part of the family no more. Like you need to get rid of her. And he always putting it on her, telling her she need to get rid of get rid of Angela. She's no longer in the family. She's no longer welcome in the family. You know, all business with her got to cease and desist. Um, and Leah standing there like, I cannot believe you. I can't believe you telling me to do this. Raymond, he's home minding his business when Olivia walks in pressuring him about them papers. Did you get them? Did you get them? And, you know, Raymond say he's had enough of her ass. And um, so he mentions Jack's death and, you know, that the police know that a woman was around. And, yeah, I got the evidence that's that'll prove their theory. So I can either turn it into them or I can get rid of the evidence. It's on you, mama. It's on you. And so she sit down a little closer because cause now, now she in now she in the hot seat. And um she sits a little closer and she's like, you know what? Just calm down. Okay, just calm down. <laughs> um I just need you. She you know, she she says, I don't know how the conversation went left, but I just need you to be my good my my uh what's she call him? I just need you to um, be my good boy. And he snatches his hand away and like, I'm done being your good boy. She really be trying it. But Raymond ain't no little boy no more, lady. <laughs> he gonna be done. Put you in a home. I need you to just relax. Um, okay, it's the bake off. Angela, she sees Tariq over there to the side. You know, he gives her a little, what's up? <laughs> Um, he's smiling at her, so I guess you know he's ready to come on back. Uh, the key ingredients. Oh, excuse me. 
Olivia, she walks up. Olivia and the rest of the alumni, they walk up. Um, and I didn't, I don't like that. Um, the lady, the lady that was the investor, she's a well, I don't know her real name, but she's a well-known actor. So I was like, why she ain't got more, more lines? Like they got her on here like she extra. I ain't like it. <laughs> Not when she gave us the performance she gave us on, um, Medea's a uh, family. What, what is it? Family reunion. <laughs> you let them come in and rape me. Y'all remember? She really gave her best. Got her on here like she an extra. Anyway, um, Olivia, you know, she got all the questions or whatever. And like I said, she, her mama didn't give her, you know, recipes or nothing like that. Because at first she says, she tells Olivia that it's her recipe that she created. And so Olivia's like, were the rules not up to your standard? And she's like, I know what the rules were, but my mom ain't passed down no recipes. She wasn't no cook. She ain't do none of that. She gave me um, hair recipes, you know. And within that, I created my own little my own little situation for the pound cake. She's added rose water, coconut oil, and the honey in it. And so that's that. Um, Olivia and them about to head away, and Nikki is like, oh, 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 oh. Y'all ain't taste it. So they taste test. And Olivia's like, girl, this is good. <laughs> like she regret, like she re like was reluctant to say, you know, this is good. You know, cause she says she the pound cake queen. It was good. She liked it. Afterwards, um, Leah and Angela talk, you know, and she's telling her, you ain't got nothing to worry about, girl. You got this in the bag. And, um, she tells her that she talked to Teddy Franklin, Eli Pope, and that, you know, she's basically accepting his side of the story. And, and but that on, you know, Angela's not moved. She still believes that there's more to the story and that he's not being, you know, forthcoming with everything. And um, then it starts. It's about to turn into a whose mama was wronged more type of thing. And Aaliyah's like, you know what, sis, let's just talk about this later. OK. Another time. We can have this conversation another time. And then Leah pulls her to the side. You know, she doubles back. <laughs> and she's just like, until I find out what really happened to my mama, I will turn over every stone in this place. I'm just letting you know. Okay? I'm just letting you know. Um, and it's just like, what? Angela, you're not going to just tell me. <laughs> you know, this is my daddy too. And he raised me. So, you're not just going to sit up in my face and tell me you about to sabotage my father. You know, like, it's just like, why did you? I, I know, I get it. She's being honest. But, Angela, girl, you are overstepping. You are overstepping. And you're putting, she's putting Leah in a very sticky position. Which is why she gets what she gets in the end, you know. I, what did we learn? What did we learn? Um... Anyway, Raymond, he pulls Tariq to the side. You know, they make amends. And, you know, he tells him I covered for Jack back in school. You know, he was a, he was the one that stole the stuff. And Jack, it was Jack's idea to throw you under the bus because he knew you were innocent. And so they was going to come and check your room, not find anything, and then just let it go. At least that's what he thought. Um, but he admits, you know, I didn't have your back then. I, I wasn't there for you. Like, I was wrong for that. Um... But he also wants to warn him um, about Teddy and, you know, his loyalty to him. Like, don't let your loyalty to Teddy Franklin, Eli Pope, ruin you. Just as, you know, he says this, Teddy walks up. And, you know, and Tariq immediately, it's like he just flips. And he's just like, because when he's talking to Raymond, it's very much, yeah, I know, I get it. We, we, we hear. Then Teddy Franklin, Eli Pope walk up and it's, Oh, I'm going to have those papers to you by the, by the night. I'll take them to you tonight. And Raymond's standing there like, really, nigga? After we just talked about you not being so loyal to this man, you still going to do... Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, they vote. It's time to vote. And they vote, and um, when it's Angela's turn, they reach a tie. Olivia voted no. Oh, tacky head ass. <laughs> she voted no, but it was a tie. Um, the, of course, the investor and another lady was like, we got you, girl. And then Olivia and another lady was like, no. 
And then, so of course, now it's Leah who has to break the tie. And what does she do? Vote no. Because her daddy's standing right there glaring at her like, you going to let her in or you going to do what I told you to do? She did what he told her to do. Angela just walked out crying because, I mean, what else can you do? I mean, just looking cheap. Whole thing. Um, Olivia honestly looked shocked, too. When she, did, when she did vote no, Olivia was looking like, really now? <laughs> I thought I was going to be the one that had to vote no. And here you are doing the same thing. Hmm. Anyway, Raymond, he meets with Tariq, you know, after the fact. Tariq. Kind of, you know, it was, it was, it was a game. <laughs> he was just, I was just playing. He was just playing. Um, he comes with the papers and, um, he tells him, uh, that he had to, you know, he had to lay it on thick over at the function, you know, cause Teddy was, you know, Teddy was there. Um, but he said he done being loyal to Teddy and he's done with him. Um, he threw. He threw. <laughs> and they also decide that um, Tariq isn't going to be done. That he is going to continue on with Teddy Franklin, Eli Pope. Like, keep, stay there. Stay, I need you to stay there and be a double agent so we can bring him to his knees. <laughs> so they working together now. Tariq say he down. I'm down. He down. Down for whatever. Okay, now Raymond... He's at the back at the house and he's burning. Oh, because that the papers. Tariq is gonna have to take some of it back to Teddy Franklin Eli Pope so that he doesn't suspect. Basically, all the pages but the one with the signature on it. Um, so when he gets to that page, it's gonna be where's the page with the signature? It's burning in the fireplace. Um, while he does that, Leah comes in there and she's in tears and he just gives her a hug. She toe up. She is towed up by what she done done to Angela. And she should be because, girl, you got to make the right choice. Like, if if all of y'all powers combined, <laughs> then y'all can take Teddy Franklin, Eli Pope down. Or at least y'all can all find out the truth. But Leah's still, you know, that's she loyal. That's her daddy. She loyal. Um, Angela, she gets home and Tariq is there waiting on her. Um, he, he apologizes and he... He opens up a little bit, you know, he's going through a lot. He wasn't processing the reality of his father's death. He wasn't processing that well at all. And he admits to that, you know, he's, he holds himself accountable and um, he knows that he, had, that he has some making up to do. And then he kisses her and her response for, for, you know, all of that is, thank you for sharing that. That, that really means a lot. We'll talk. And she turned around and leave. I was so mad at her. Like, stop with this cat and mouse bullshit. Granted, when you wanted to talk, he ain't want to talk. But now I think y'all are both in, y'all are in in a space where, or at least she should be in a space where she can, you know, accept his little apology and it and they just move on. <laughs> you know, like. I don't know. I don't know why she kind of dismissed him the way she did. Cause she just left him standing there when they could have just had a conversation. I know she, she wasn't in the headspace to talk about any of that after just, you know, getting the boot and all of that. But it just seemed like she pacified him a little bit as opposed to leaving him with a little bit of a little glimmer of hope <laughs> that they would get back together. Maybe has she said, okay, come on inside. Let's talk about this. Or I'll call you in the morning, you know, or let's meet for coffee in the morning. It was just, we'll talk. Girl, when? <laughs> when you gonna talk to the man? He was looking like, Ugh. but what can you say, Tariq? Because when she wanted to talk, you was on a jog acting all smug, you know? So, oh, well, um, I think maybe they'll, you know, because Nate is around. So, <sighs> anyway. Um, when she gets upstairs, he waiting on her with some more bad news. Um, Auntie Piggy done turned herself in. She left both her and, um, Nikki, you know, a letter. <sighs> so that's that. Auntie Piggy going, Auntie Pinky, Auntie Piggy going to jail unless, you know, unless she's not, I don't know, but she turned herself in and that was the end. This was a good, um, it was a good 
a good episode, but um, I was annoyed with Angela, Angela and this little cat and mouse shit she got going on with Tariq. Girl, do you want the man or not? You better listen to Auntie Piggy. Auntie Piggy said, don't squander. <laughs> don't squander that good man. All right, I'm going to go. Um, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It's Call Me Busby, and I'll chat with you later. Peace and light. <laughs>